Okay, so here's uh, a company that used to be quite big back in the day, right? They used to make guitars in some of the bigger Japanese factories. Um, I don't think that's the case anymore. I think their stuff is mainly now from China, possibly Korea. Anyway, so Aria were one of the brands. When my dad was looking for my first electric guitar, he was looking for stuff from Japan, such as Ibanez's, or he was looking for Aria's, that sort of thing. So we're going to go for the one with the higher number, I think. One of these is the cheaper model, and one of these is a slightly more expensive model. These are from my friends at Rose Morris, who occasionally asked me if I would look at a guitar, not for any money or anything, but because I like guitars, I say yes. Does that have a coil tap? Yes, right, that must be the posh one then. So between you and me, don't tell anyone this, but I've had this parcel in the room for a very long time, and I don't know if you're like me, but I kind of get a bit fatigued with seeing the amount of kind of stuff on the cheaper end of the scale, potentially. Um, but that does, I think, look quite cool. We've got a roasted maple neck, a nice thickness.
So I was quite surprised opening up that other one to see what the actual guitar looked like. So these are made in China, come from Aria. Obviously they're kind of Strat, Super Strat E bass type things, HSS. Um, this one, I guess, has a bit more traditional spec. Basswood body and a rosewood neck. Now the neck is actually chunkier than a lot of guitars at this sort of price range, I'd say. So that might be one reason that you might want to Try and get your hands on one and see maybe that neck might work for you if like for me i find some of the the cheaper necks that you find on the market a little bit skinny and for different people's hands having a, a different option on the neck might be a cool thing because this is actually quite a comfortable neck and the other one i think is thicker again even slightly and so i'll try and dig out the actual specs of that and flash them up on the screen but no sharp fret edges which is nice as well so it does feel pretty nice when you play it the one downside of the frets i'd say and this is a thing that you sometimes find at the cheaper end of the um, scale is that you get they don't necessarily polish them quite so much so you get a little bit of this kind of scratchy feel That doesn't actually take long to go away though with playing the frets kind of polish up. It's playing pretty nicely out of the box as well. I guess having that humbucker there might be a bit more versatile for folk. Um, so I don't know exactly how much this guitar is. I'll flash that up on the screen. It's quite a cheap uh, guitar, but I'd say the things that I like about it are the neck, and I think the sounds from it are, are stratty at least. Um, and I put it in that kind of Squire category, maybe Yamaha Pacifica, that sort of thing, but certainly it's super playable and I think could be a candidate for a beginner type guitarist who's looking for a neck shape which is a bit fuller than the traditional kind of slimmer C stuff. This feels very much like a kind of medium to full C. Um, again, I'll try and flash up the um, kind of specs there, but decent enough fret job. They're quite low, so they might not have a super amount of life in them but for now it's comfortable and it seems like the roughness in the frets is gonna play out quite quickly. I would say I think I prefer that to quite a lot of squires that I might have played in terms of just having a, a more comfortable neck. So the other one, we got some slightly posher assignments. So we got a rose, rose, roasted maple neck, which has become a thing. 
Also made in China, we've got a poplar body, other aspects to know about. We've got a Wilkinson bridge here. So Wilkinson hardware tends to actually be pretty good stuff these days. Also, we've got an adjustment here at the 22nd fret instead of at the headstock. Um, the neck, again, I think for me is one of the things that I like more about this guitar. Um, it's not skinny, sort of similar to like an Ibanez AZ kind of thing. Slightly larger frets than the other guitar. Well, considerably larger. tap here on the tone knob but it's a bit difficult to grip just because of the way that a strap kind of style knob is to hold so I mean it's not the sort of thing that I think you'd be able to actually grab on a gig so you might want to consider changing the pots if you were going to do this or kind of putting them up a bit higher the actual tone knob part you get a coil tap on the HSS if you want that which could be handy in making it a bit more versatile. So you can then get So in terms of trim stability, I'd say that's not too shabby at all. I think with a, a bit more kind of work on the nut, presumably you could get that a bit smoother and that's generally what the issue would be if your trem is a bit on the unstable side, but with a, a little bit of nut lubricant and maybe a setup. I think this could be 
a pretty decent guitar. Not mind-blowing, but then at this kind of money, I don't know if you'd be expecting mind-blowing. So all in all, I'm fairly impressed, I'd say. I can't say that this is like the, the best instrument I've ever played, but I think for the price, some of the appointments that you're getting are pretty reasonable. This Wilkinson Trem, I think, is going to be as stable as anything else you find in this price range. I think the neck, again, is one of those points that is really comfortable. And again, at this price range, this is the sort of thing that you're going to be wanting to try out a few of these types of guitars and see what works for you, I'd say, because they do all vary quite a lot. Um, the coil tap is a nice add-on, but not super useful, especially if you had a sweaty hand. Um, I think it looks really cool. And the 22nd fret adjustment, I think, is a cool idea. Um, nice big frets. Again, similar to the other guitar, really tidy fretwork that doesn't, you don't have frets back, frets back, frets back. You don't have frets back or anything. And as you play it, I think that new fret feeling that you get on cheaper guitars where you can kind of, it doesn't feel super polished, that you can start to play out, I think. And I think it generally only takes a few. <laughs> Like strings seem to kind of polish out that unevenness as you play and do vibrato and things anyway. mind-blowing but quite a reasonable price quite a reasonable instrument